YouTube, what's going on? Good morning. Uh, we are heading out to grab some pastries this morning and we're gonna be driving along a little bit of freeway, a little bit of city streets. So I wanted to give you guys a preview on the latest. Yes, I know the car is a little dirty. We do need to throw some washing out there, but we should have a freeway merging here, which we do. Nice, very good. Slowing down like 15 miles an hour right here. Probably would have gone a little faster than that. It is uh, Saturday morning, so Cars and Coffee is just starting right around the corner at the San Clemente outlets. So there will be lots and lots of vehicles. A little braking here around that corner. Uh, not the not the smoothest brake-free um, turn, I guess I would see. But it handled it nonetheless. Get the turn signal on. Beautiful sunny day here in San Clemente. And we see the instrument displacer has switched over to the highway stack driving. Interesting, I did see a tweet last night from Elon uh, about the 10.7 version being released soon. And I think he, he tweeted something about uh, should be called version 11 or something like that so uh, I know there were some questions asked if it was the single stack or not but <clears throat> he did not reply to that comment so interesting to see what that looked like uh, hopefully we'll get that in the next week or two and I'll give you some more updates so we have an exit here now traditionally we need to be in the right lane it'll split into two lanes right here uh, shortly and it always, always, always takes the left lane, except until 10, this latest 10.6, it has actually chosen the right lane last time I, I took this drive. So let's see if it does it again. Because if we stay in the left lane, it's actually not the lane we wanna be in because that's a, it's a right turn only, but it turns right into a um, a left lane only, which and we wanna go straight. So, okay, yeah, so it's, it, it does know that we need to get over, but unfortunately traffic is absolutely horrific right here. So. It's not going to let us over. Let's see, is somebody gonna let us over? Ah, uh, nope. So, we are screwed again. Let's see here. Ah, uh, nope, didn't work. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna manually take over here because we're gonna have to. All right, well, <clears throat> it tried. It did a little better that time. Uh, last time I, took, I drove this route on 10.6, it did get over sooner and it was able to because there was no no traffic it was a night drive and no cars were on the road when i tested it out so there was some traffic it, it did take too long to get over it should have gotten over sooner so that is one of the um recurring flaws but it is it, it is improving the fact that it actually you know went and did something about it uh whereas before it would have just stayed in that left turn lane so we're, we're making progress right two steps forward in this case it was about a half a step forward but so here we are we have an upcoming straight and then we're going to be turning left now i will say this uh as we get closer to the beach in san clemente there are lots of dips and i'm not comfortable with the speed at which the vehicle navigates these uh, dips in the road it's stopping for those pedestrians there so that was great so i'm gonna it's 25 here but man it's it's a little it's a little close quarter for me with all the vehicles so here's here's one semi dip and if i just put it to like 15 miles an hour you know that's perfectly acceptable uh to take those dips at but um i wish they integrate slowing for dips into the next update elon if you're out there and autopilot team if that's something you guys could do. So we got a left turn here, stopped at the stop sign perfectly, another dip, but we're going slow enough to where it doesn't matter. There's another dip up here, I have it at 20. I'm gonna drop it down to 15 just so I don't scratch the whole front chin. Oh, we didn't hit anything there, but uh, it was a pucker moment, you know? Okay, so here we've got a sign that says dip. On the right, uh, vehicle did not read the sign, so still no dip reading, but I have it at 15 miles an hour, so again, not not a huge deal. We can easily take this at 15, no problem. 
So we got the turn signal on the vehicle. We're turning right, coming up here. We're about to reach our destination. If you are in San Clemente and want some breakfast pastries or some uh, nice little breakfast to go with your morning, definitely head to this place. It's a Chopin Bakery, just opened up. Now we got some breaking here, like, oh, okay. Didn't see that person. They were in actually the sunny blind spot, but the Tesla saw that person and uh, it stopped. So that was, that was awesome. Do I need to, okay, now we have a red light. So we're stopped again. That's why we didn't complete the turn. Okay, well, now we're stuck in the crosswalk. So that's definitely not the best place to be stopped. Um, I like the fact that it didn't hit the person trying to cross the street, but at the same time, we are now in a vulnerable position, but locking the crosswalk. So could could, could definitely be a lot worse. Um, there was a huge crowd of people who needed to get by. So we've got a green light and they're just going, screw, screw this guy. <laughs> okay, okay, well, <clears throat> We blocked the intersection long enough, the crosswalk long enough. So here's our destination. Here's our uh, Chopin Bakery on the left. So we're gonna try to find a parking spot right now. I'm gonna take over manually. There's a spot right here. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm not gonna take that spot. I'm gonna go a little here just because. Why park next to somebody when you don't have to, right? All right, this will do. Well, thanks again for watching, everyone. Uh, I appreciate your time. Look forward to see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe. See, see you next time. Thanks, guys.